I got this one too. Thank you. Can I unload it? Sure. I'm so <laughs> Thanks, all of us, for helping. Or should I put the pineapples? Over there. Right here? That's good. Oh, there is. Nice. Hey guys, it's Andrew here. Some of you guys have been asking for what I eat in a day, so I'm going to share that with you. Just got back from the farmer's market. Farmer's market's where we get about 75-80% of our produce each week. Uh, we try to eat as much local as we can. Uh, I've been vegan for about nine years now, and I'm going to just show you a pretty typical day for my eating. Uh, I'm about to go for a seven or eight mile run, which is pretty standard for me. I try to move my body every day for at least an hour, whether that's running or exercising and then I stay pretty busy with the kids as well playing with them so typical day for me includes about 3,500 to 4,500 calories which is more than the average person so portion sizes might be a little larger than uh, you may be used to uh, but it's a pretty standard day for me I hope you guys enjoy all right so I just got back from my run and on Saturdays I like to enjoy a cold glass of fresh sugarcane juice that I pick up at the farmers market each week. Unlike processed sugar which is just isolated carbohydrates stripped of everything else, fresh sugarcane juice is the juice of the whole cane filled with all the macronutrients, vitamins, loads of minerals, and hydrating water making it a great workout recovery drink. Sugarcane juice is also alkaline in nature because of its high concentration of minerals such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, iron, and manganese to name a few. After stretching and holding scouts while I could get a workout in, I enjoyed a big plate of organic papaya that I picked up at the market that morning. I generally eat four to five papayas for a meal. What? The next page we're doing a little D. Why? Mm -hmm. So around. Down. I like to eat at least one big smoothie a day. On this day, I ate it at lunch. I also like to eat at least one meal a day with greens, like fresh collard greens or kale from our garden, and dried powders like barley grass juice powder and spirulina. Large smoothies are a great way to get in your calories if you're looking to maintain your weight or add muscle. You can add more calorie-rich fruits like bananas or dates and add some hemp seeds for omegas and protein. Eating a diet high in fresh raw fruits and vegetables makes me feel my best, but there are lots of ways to enjoy a healthy vegan lifestyle. Find what works for you. Some people prefer more root vegetables, grains, and beans as their staples throughout the day. This is just another example. About once a week, I make a big batch of fresh coconut milk for the family. It tastes wonderful in a curry that I made for dinner that night. Coconuts are one of the most sustainable foods on the planet, providing loads of nutrition, electrolytes, and healthy fats. I planted three Simone coconut trees in our yard this year, and hopefully one day it will provide us with lots of healthy food. 
make the sweetest coconut milk, I blend the most mature meat with the young coconut water. The sugar in the water transfers to the meat as it ages, so combining both those two create the most delicious coconut milk you could imagine. To make the curry, I start with a handful of fresh chopped garlic, onions, curry paste, and a splash of coconut milk. I saute them for about 5 minutes. When shopping for curry paste, look for ones that are free of fish sauce or shrimp paste and without preservatives. Then I added in chopped cauliflower, zucchini, mushrooms, and the rest of the coconut milk, about 48 ounces. Sometimes I use broccoli, bell pepper, or eggplant too. This dish is great with many different types of veggies. Then I added in two teaspoons of curry powder, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and mixed it all together and let simmer for about 30 minutes. While the curry cooked, I cooked some basmati rice and red lentils. When everything is done cooking, I like to mix everything all together and add a little heat, either red pepper flakes, cayenne pepper, or sriracha. This is currently my favorite dish I have been making recently. The fresh coconut milk has taken it to a whole new level, but it is still delicious with canned coconut milk too. Okay, right now? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Thank you for dad making the letter and we love the dinner. Dad. Dad. Mommy pasted them out. I like the taste of it. <laughs> I like the... Okay. okay, is it a person? That was a jump down. Is it an animal? Is it a thing? Yes. Is it a living thing? No. Do we have it in our house? No. It's kind of spicy, but you can if you want to. What? Oh, what? What is that stuff?